It is uh, nine minutes to seven. A Sydney schoolgirl has embarked on a mission to have the new Canberra Airport redevelopment named after a man she calls Australia's unsung hero. That's the man, David Warren, the inventor of the black box and pioneer of airline safety. And she is with us this morning. Good morning, Eve Cogan. How are you, Eve? Good, thank you. Good morning, Peter and Mary. Yes, Eve. Only 10 years of age. When did you get uh, enthusiastic about David Warren? Um, well, it was a, initially a school project. Um, about a famous Australian and I was asking my dad and he told me a, a lot about sports heroes and then he said, I think the inventor of the black box is Australian but I don't know his name. So that's where the idea started. And Eve, do you love aircraft in general? Yes, I do and I love watching aircraft investigations. I love flying, yeah. Oh, okay. Does, do you fly a fair bit? Um, well, I've been overseas quite a lot, so yeah. yes. Okay, and do you think maybe one day you'll be a pilot? Um, no, when I grow up, I would like to be a journalist. A journalist? Oh, no, go the pilot, Dar. Go the pilot, please. No, uh. you stick to what you want to do, Eve. <laughs> you sound like you'd be very good at it. You know what? You sound like a 10-year-old Mary Collier, quite frankly. I bet you were like that at 10. <laughs> what was your cause when you were 10? So have you got much enthusiasm for your petition, change.org petition? Yes, um... Are there lots of people signing up, Eve, to make it happen for you? Um, yeah, a lot of people. So on Friday I had 80 and then after the news report I got 1,000. That is terrific. And it's, you did a 15-minute documentary. Did you make that by yourself? Yes, I did. I had already learned how to use the software. So this time it was all about the filming and writing the script, and uh, what... interviews. And when was the black box invented? Um, oh. was, it, was it in the 50s? Um, 1952. Oh, 1952? Yeah. So, and where does the black box sit, sit do you know? Um, in the back of the aircraft. And how come it, it was always found? Uh, because it goes to a lot of testing to make sure that it's basically unbreakable. Yes. And yeah. it's made from, well, it's not, it varies in what it's made from, but usually titanium right. or hard steel metal. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Eve, you said your dad, when you first asked him the question, spoke about a lot of sports people as well. But do you think there are lots of untold stories? Is that one, this is all about telling the untold stories in Australia? Yeah. Well, that's very good. And you've even met that very famous part, a Qantas part, Richard de Crispini. De Crepini. De Crepini, yeah, right. Okay. Have you read his book? It's fantastic. Yes, I have. Yeah, QF. What was it? QF twenty three. Thirty two. Thirty two. <laughs> I've read it, but I can never remember the title of it. That was fascinating. Does that scare you when you fly? When you when you've done all this investigation to air crashes? Um, no, because I know that the black box has made um, air safer. Oh, right. Oh, well, it has. Yes, I suppose that's true because we've it records all the details of how the crash happened. Yeah, so they can fix it when. When they find out the cause. Well, that's that's so true. It's been a, a wonderful invention by an Australian. Eve, when you fly, do you just ask all the airline hostesses questions all the time or have you ever got the chance to go up and be with a pilot or anything? No, I haven't, but mm. I suppose I would like to. Mm. Now, that's what you did when you were 10, Mary, asked a lot of questions. I don't think you can do that anymore, which is a little bit sad. You no, can't you go can't. up and sit with the pilots no, anymore. No, you can't because of 9-11. Mm. What's your next project going to be, Eve? Um, I'm not sure, but did you know that the Australia there was an Australian who invented the Breville machine? The which one? The Breville machine. Oh, okay. Did you know it was an Australian who invented the wine cask? Oh. Yeah. There you go. I can top you, Eve. And did you know it was an Australian who invented the Victor lawnmower? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And the Hills Hoist? And the Hills Hoist? Yep. There you go. Eve, if people want to help you get the airport renamed, where can they go? Um, to bit.ly slash David um, dash Warren and vote on my petition. Mm, that's Change Org Petition. Yes. Okay, change.org, right? That's an organisation that run different, all oh, these different okay. petitions Rightio. to try and get things so, changed, so that's web, good. What's the website again? Um, bit.ly slash David um, dash Warren. Oh, very good. Well, you're good luck with that one, won't you? Yeah. Do you well? Do you do well at school, Eve, by any chance? Um, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Good on you. Good luck with your journalism. Thank you. Very we'll probably much. see you reading four BC News when you're seventeen. I wouldn't be surprised. Thanks, Eve. Thank you. She's not the brightest ten-year-old you've ever spoken to in your life. Eve Cogan.